So you can see here that I already have a video footage of my screen recording. And the mouse movement is there and everything else is there. But the clicks are not very clear. So if you want the clicks to be clear and to be interactive with animations, then what you can do is you can use the cursor effects for left click and right click animations right here. So the animation options for left click and right click is the same, but you can make it distinct so that the audiences knows what you're doing. So let us go ahead with the ring animation right here. Let me just click and drag it up. And what happens is now each time a left mouse click happens, there's a ring pop up just like that. So you can see that there's the animation going on right here. And now there, there's going to be a click and you can see that uh, there's a ring that pops up. You can adjust the ring as per your liking onto the properties panel. So you can choose the color of the ring, uh, ring the, let's say for example, like green right here. You can change the opacity of the ring, the size of the ring right here, and also the ring width and duration of the ring as well. So let's say I just want it for 0.18 seconds, just like this. And the animation is quite fast, as you can see, just like that. I can also go and show the effect before click. So before the click even happens, what happens is that the animation plays out. So usually if you want the audience to have like prepare uh, before a click happens, then you can enable this out as well. So I'm just going to go around over here and add in another effect. Let's say, for example, scope, just like that. So there's both of the effects applied on the same time. So you can see that scope is there. So this is just different effect. I can just remove that effect and increase out the size of the scope, the duration of the scope, and of course, the color of the scope right here. So that is how it works now. If you were to click it, there's like a rifle scope right there. There's also target. So you can go around and there's like target right here. That is another type of effect which is there. You can also show the effect between clicks, uh, and that is before clicks, and increase the duration of the target as well. So these are the different left click options right here. You can also do a warp just like this. So it actually pushes inside. So usually helpful, especially when you're recording, like let's say for example, touchscreen devices and so forth. So now uh, if you were to go over here, you can see that there's a warp as if the screen is being pushed. So if you want to show touch gestures, then this might be much more useful. Then there's the sound effect as well. So each time you click the mouse, there's, there is like a mouse click effect and there's click sound that you can choose. For example, laptop, cl laptop click and mouse click. You can also click the sound preview to uh, listen to how it actually sounds like, just like that. But using too much of these might be really, really distracting as well. So let me just delete these effects out and I'm going to use the ripple effect as left click. And for right click, I'm going to use, let's say, target. And let's see how that works out. So if I were to click on, uh, go around, you can see that there's a ripple effect right there as the left click happens. And whenever right click happens, what happens is that uh, the other effect will pop up. So just like that, what you can do is you can utilize the mouse effects right here. I'm just going to go around with the other footage now. So I'm just going to go around, delete off uh, this my timeline. So I'm just going to go around and then delete this off my timeline right here. Bring in the other footage that we're going to work around with. So I'm just, this is 720p, so I'm just going to go around into project settings, change it around to 720p and fit this off just like this. So what I'm going to do is you can see that there's the mouse click uh, that are happening. So if I were to go into cursor effect, go on to uh, right click just like this, I'm going to go for right click with the target. I'm going to go for the left click by the target right over here. Now let's see what happens. So you can see that left click are all target and right click are the other option right here. So let me just go on onto right click for warp and then the right click warps out. So you can see all of the effects right here. I'm just going to go around, delete this out. I accidentally chosen out target for both. So I'm going to go and choose out ring for left and for right, it's warp. And you can see that that is how it works like inside of Camtasia for left and right click cursor effects. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.